Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to deal with the third session of the water car training video. If you remember, the first session dealt with familiarization with the controls. In the second one, we showed you how to retrieve it from a shipping container and operate it on the road. And in the third, now we're going to deal with how to operate a water car in the water. But first, let's take a look at the back of it. You may recall from the second video that the car I drove away in was white and black. Now we're about 25 miles from the shop now and this car is white and green. And very difficult to paint a car at 55 mile an hour going down the freeway, but somehow the water car team did it. So now we have to think about this not as a car, but as a boat. And all boats come with a plug, a drain plug in the back, and the water car is no difference. We have two drain plugs, one on either side. If you remove them from the water car, this is what they look like. We recommend keeping them in the water car at all times unless you're doing some maintenance. And if you are doing maintenance and have removed them, put them in the cup holder between the two front seats. That way you won't accidentally enter the water and forget it. Okay, so now let's, let's get in the water car. Okay, welcome aboard. We're about to uh, take the water car in the water and uh, want to show you the steps you need to go through uh, to safely operate it, into, drive it into the water as well as to retrieve it from it. There's really three things that you always have to remember. One, entering the water, you need to engage the jet, you need to shift the transmission into neutral, and you need to raise the wheels. And we kind of reverse that whole process when we come back out. So the first thing and the most challenging is to engage the jet. The jet engagement lever is down here. I don't know if you can see it, but the, the way to test it is to depress the clutch and pull back. And in this case, it wouldn't engage, and this is not unusual. So to get the wheels, the gears to mesh, we just bump the starter. We don't start the car, we bump it while we put a little pressure back on this lever. There it is, it's in gear, and you'll notice that this light is on, and this light is a warning light because you don't want to drive the car with the pump in gear. The pump uses water as a lubricant, so while you can do it for 100 yards or so, this warning light says essentially the wheels are down, you're, you're in road mode, and you have the pump engaged, so you don't want to do that for a long distance. For a short distance like this, it's perfect. All right, so let's get wet. So I drive into the water, I depress the clutch, and I just kind of let it roll out, drift away from the shore. Uh, particularly if there's any uh, litter or anything along the shore, it's nice not to catch it up in the jet. So here we are. I'm going to raise the, the wheels, and so I go to the water button here, water mode, press that. You'll see that this light, the warning light, has come off because the wheels aren't fully depressed anymore. And there we are. So the wheels, that blue light and that audible alarm have told us that the wheels are up. So I'm in neutral, the jet's engaged, and the wheels are up. A uh, couple things to show you. First of all, water cars are incredibly maneuverable. So here we are at slow speed, but I want you to see it will turn essentially in its own length. It's like a big jet ski from all practical purposes. Okay? And the second thing is it does have a reverse and it's this lever down here. If you can see this we're in the forward mode right now. If I pull this lever back okay, it allows the water car to reverse itself. So we're going backwards now. It's not particularly maneuverable at this but no boats are but you do need a reverse particularly if you're approaching a dock. So that's really it. Uh, Let's put it in forward. So again, uh, the water car is ready to go at this time. It, it can cruise at a variety of speeds. But what we want to show you today is how to get it up on plane. So what I'm doing here is just straightening it out. I'll give it a little bit of uh, throttle, kind of get the water car moving. And then when I've got it uh, at a fairly fast pace, I will fully accelerate and that will bring the car up on the plane and then I'll back off the throttle a little bit. So here we go. All right, we're up on a plane now and so I'm backing 
coming off the throttle. And what you want to do, you want to keep it at about 20 miles an hour. Below 20 miles an hour, it will fall off a plane. But if you're at 20 miles an hour, it'll carry a plane just fine. One more switch that we haven't talked about is the trim tab here. So the trim tab is a plate that allows you to change, raise or lower the hull, depending upon water conditions. So you just tap it like one, two, three, and that's brought the bow down. And in flat water, you can drive with, a, with it fairly low. It handles extremely well. But if you're in a chop, if the water's choppier, you want to press the bottom of the trim tab button a couple of times, and you'll see, you'll feel the bow rise, and that will allow it to ride through a chop easier. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna head back to the ramp and uh, walk through the steps necessary to bring it out of the water. Okay, we're approaching the ramp, and one of the things you want to do is be as square to the ramp as you can because as you drive out, you like both of the rear wheels to engage at the same time. So first thing we need to do is we need to put the wheels down. So we go to the land, hold the button. Okay, that's told us that the wheels are down. I put it into first gear. Now the wheels are turning and the jet is still pushing. Give it a little bit of throttle and it should drive right out. Disengage the pump. You just push forward on that and now you're ready to operate on land. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.